Hi, Marty. How are you? Come here. What Guess are you doing, well, Ella? well, well, we're filming the weekly encouragement. Okay. And I was thinking for the month of February, we would talk about relationships. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be good stuff. Okay. Okay. Bring it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Of all the kinds of relationships we have with our family, friends, etc., we know that our relationship with God is the most important. Why? Because how we relate with God affects how we define ourselves, which in turn affects how we relate with others. When we know that we belong to God, that He is the one we allow to give us identity, our beliefs are affected and thus we behave a certain way, ideally a loving way. But it all starts and ends with God, the Alpha and Omega, the literal beginning and end of every aspect of life, including relationships. What's important to recognize is how easy it can be to give others the role of God in our lives, to allow our circumstances, our world, events, or other people to define us. Ultimately, they fail us. And on the flip side, if we attempt to play the role of God in other people's lives, we too will fail them. Putting God at the forefront of relationships, allowing Him to define what love is, seeking His very face, the face of love, is the only way our relationships on this earth can thrive the way they were created to. Jesus came to show us this very way of loving, to perfectly personify the living God in the most relatable way He could, by coming to earth to show us, existing as fully God, fully man amongst us. And He said in John 13, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Every relationship done well will demonstrate a tangible representation of God's character, His love. Allow Him to show you, teach you, and love you. And in the end, you will see how this affects your relationships.